Hey guys, what is up? My name is Lannan and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So today I have an unboxing for you guys and it is from FedEx. So that means it is from Cool Hockey and it is a reverse retro as well. I'm quite excited about it. Cool Hockey did restock some of the reverse retros. It was only a couple and I only saw sizes 42s and 44s, which are my sizes. So I was quite excited about it. Now there is only one in here. There was another one that I was looking at getting. I decided not to get it, but I'll get into why after I unbox this one. So let's just go ahead and open it up. <laughs> Ooh, I am excited about this one. Oh yeah. Let's give you guys a little peek. Well, there's the little peek. It's a pretty big peek. Let's get it out here. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I love it. All right. Well, you guys kind of already saw it already, but I'll show it anyways. So it is the Washington Capitals reverse retro. Oh man, this one is an absolute beauty. After I missed it the first time, I didn't think I was ever going to get it because it's going on eBay for right now for like $500 Canadian, like way too much. I would never pay $500 for this. I don't even like to pay the regular price for a jersey for this, but... I decided to get it because of the fact that it is so rare and you literally can't buy it anywhere else right now. So I saw it got restocked on Cool Hockey. I immediately jumped on it because I was like, I absolutely need this thing. Now, when this jersey first came out, I actually really wasn't a huge fan of it. I didn't like the red and that was the only thing that I really didn't like. I love that they brought back the Screaming Eagle. I love the capitals at the bottom and of course the Capitol building on the shoulders here. I loved all of that, but it was really just the color palette that they used. I wasn't a huge fan of. I kind of wanted them to go back to the older colors and reverse those colors instead of using their main colors that are right now. But after a little bit, these grew on me so fast and I just absolutely love it. Now you guys can see here that I did not get this one customized. I'm gonna get it customized later on from probably someone else. And the reason I didn't get this customized with Cool Hockey is because as much as I like Cool Hockey's customization, they only really do it in a very standard way, which is fine sometimes. But with jerseys like this one here, I believe the actual customization would be reverse kiss cut, if I'm not wrong. I'm obviously gonna look that up before I actually go and get this customized. But as far as I know, Cool Hockey would just make the stacked quill instead of doing the reverse kiss cut. And as much as it would look okay, and if you don't really know the difference, it's not really a big deal. Or if you don't really care, it's also not really a big deal. I have started to care a little bit more and I don't want this to have improper customization and I want the reverse kiss cut on this. So I didn't get this customized at Cool Hockey. I'll probably send it off to like Hockey Authentic or something like that to get it customized. But I've just recently started to get very particular with my customization on my jerseys. For example, with this Ducks jersey here, this was actually improper customization during the first time that the Ducks wore this jersey, but they did end up changing the customization during the second game for some reason. I'll throw up two pictures here to kind of show you guys the difference, but this one on the the left hand side will be the first one this one will be the second one so this customization here ended up being closer to the second one and so it ended up being a proper customization but after that first game i kind of started to get a little bit upset that this was improper customization and that i would probably have to go ahead and get this fixed i'm not going to get it fixed anymore but it's just something that started to bug me just a little bit more with cool hockey over the past couple of months here and so for me personally i'm not going to get any of my stuff customized at cool hockey unless it just has basic customization like it has a name bar and then it has the stacked 12. If it's anything different, like with no name bar or like reverse kiss cut, like I said, or anything like that, I probably won't get it done at Cool Hockey just because I'm not sure if they actually will do that. But anyways, with all that aside, there was another jersey that I did want to get at Cool Hockey that they did restock another reverse retro, and that is the Tampa Bay Lightning reverse retro. I was very, very close to getting that, but unfortunately they are only doing customization on those ones and they're not allowing you to buy a blank jersey there, which is a little bit unfortunate. It's not even like I wouldn't want to get that one customized because I'm pretty sure that one is just a single layer twill. I don't think it's anything special. I might be wrong on that, but I didn't really look too far into it because of the fact that that jersey would be $300 Canadian and I didn't want to spend $300 Canadian on it. So I was fine with spending the whole 200 on this one. Well, kind of as fine as I can be with spending $200 on a jersey, which I'm usually not okay with, but for these reverse retros, I kind of am. But yeah, anyways, with that being said, I am super excited I got this jersey. It is so beautiful. I'll probably get Ovechkin on it, but I might get someone else just because I do already have, well, I don't have an Ovechkin jersey yet, but there is another jersey that I want to get customized into an Ovechkin. So I'm not sure if I want to get this one Ovechkin as well. I'll have to look into it. It'll probably be a while until I get this one customized, but I just wanted the jersey because it is beautiful and it is very difficult to find, so... I'm super happy that I got it. But anyways, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at the Jersey Zone YT on Instagram and at the Jersey Zone on Twitter. 
Links are in the description down below. But like I said, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.